Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gabriella. I make videos about fragrance, astrology, self-care, mental health. I do vlogs and basically whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, please stick around and subscribe. Uh, today, I told you guys a couple months ago that I am not doing any more series, but that's because I don't like people telling me what to do, okay? My Leo Aquarius moon is not having it, but I feel that I've taken enough of a step back from the astrology content so it was getting, I was burning out a little bit just doing that, if I'm being honest. Uh, I feel ready to step back into doing a series about one of my favorite topics, love Venus signs. Of course, Venus means so much more than just love, but I love talking about Venus signs. I'm not going to do it in any particular order. I'm actually going to be taking votes on Instagram every week. Every Venus sign video will go up on Friday. So nobody needs to come from my throat about when I'm uploading things or asking when certain signs are going up. Check out my Instagram, we'll be doing votes on my stories. So follow me so you can vote for what sign would be next. Today, I'm gonna start with my favorite Venus sign, which is Venus in Leo. I have Venus in Libra, so I'm truly not biased here. But uh, we're gonna talk about Venus in Leo. So I made a ton of notes here, I'm gonna reference them, but let's just dive right in. So Venus in Leo, I think, is one of the best, most enjoyable placements in the zodiac as far as being someone receiving the love from this person. If they're healthy, they are Leo energy to the nth degree. They are incredibly generous. They are, uh, it feels like a king or a, a star is giving you their attention. They will shine their spotlight on you and there is nothing like that feeling. They really want to find a partner in power when it comes to love. So a healthy Venus in Leo, I find they like people who are powerful. They like people who are performers, who bring some clout to the table, whether that's money or achievement in their career or good looks, um, anything like that. They like people that bring some flash to the table. It's not really, I don't see it in a selfish way because as a Leo, I understand that. It's just kind of like, I want somebody to match my vibe and I carry myself like a king, queen, whatever. I want my partner to carry themselves like royalty. If someone has a Venus in Leo, types that they're going to be attracted to are going to be, uh, feisty, bold, a little flashy, um, good looking. They exude a sense of power. They're not the little most meek mouse in the, in the back of the room. It might take Venus and Leo a couple years and some dating to get used to and accept the fact that they like that sort of flashiness, um, but they will find that those are the people that they really are attracted to. People that have a spine, people that will not be a doormat for them. Because Leo energy, it, it can be very dominant. But when you find someone who kind of pushes against you a little bit, there's chemistry there. Uh, I also find that Venus and Leo people tend to be attracted to typically maybe uh, people of color, someone with dark hair, someone with dark eyes, someone with a uh, different type of style that's a little more attention grabbing, something that's not just your run of the mill everyday person. Yeah, and that could even be on a smaller scale, like if you live in a small town and there's someone who dresses pretty bold for that small town, a Venus and Leo might like that. It's like, I like that you don't mind that people uh, look at you. That's another Venus and Leo thing I find is that uh, they might really enjoy others admiring them and their partners and they also might be really excited by others admiring their partners. As long as their partner is loyal, that's the most important part, but they might really enjoy going out to a bar and taking a step away for a second and seeing people admire their partner, maybe even talk to their partner. They might be attracted to people that are on stage, that are performers in some way. Even people who just succeed in their industry. If we think about, you know, um, designers and bartenders and public speakers and anybody who's sort of all eyes on me, a Venus and Leo is gonna like that. And a healthy Venus and Leo is not gonna try to squash that energy. They're gonna wanna, that's gonna really excite them. Is it's like, ooh, everybody wanted you so bad, but you're mine. Because a Leo, uh, a Venus and Leo can be a bit possessive. Not in the same way of a Venus and Scorpio, like our souls or anything like that. But they're definitely like, you know, get your admiration, but we need, I need loyalty from you. That is one way to really, uh, of course, everybody likes loyalty. Nobody wants to be betrayed or anything, but a Venus and Leo will take that so 
deeply that type of betrayal so if you cannot give a venus and leo loyalty as a partner that's not the partner for you they want to have an admiration and respect for their partners sorry y'all my camera just fell so i gotta change the angle on you apologies for that but yeah i have not found a lot of people with leo placements who date down unless that person is uh, an expert manipulator and then when the leo walks away they're like why did i date someone who did not deserve me. Leos can get caught up in that thing, but for most, uh, in most circumstances, Leo, Venus, or uh, a lot of Leo placements, they're not gonna date down. They need to date someone that they respect what they do and they find their partner talented uh, in whatever they do and that their partner has a passion and a sort of creativity because Leo is extremely creative. So yeah, Venus and Leo is not gonna be intrigued by and, and not gonna be able to last with people who, like say if someone's a musician, and they're really not good. The Venus and Leo is like, that's gonna be a turn off and it's gonna slowly chip away at them and it's probably, they're a much better partner when they can really respect and admire uh, what their partner does with their creativity and their career. When it comes to love languages, I would say a Venus and Leo is probably a words of affirmation person compliments because they need compliments very much, but they also like to give them out. Um, acts of service, Eh, a, a Leo is very generous and they'll do acts of service for you, but uh, Leo's Leo energy can be a little lazy when it comes to doing, doing, doing. Um, but so rather than acts of service, I'm going to say gifts. Um, they might get you special little gifts. They might buy you clothes. They might cook you meals, which technically is an act of service, but I like to, it's, it's kind of a gift. They're just very generous. They can be really, really giving when they really care about somebody. And it's actually really hot for them. Anybody with Leo placements, I know this, to buy their partner, to buy their partner things, to level, help level up their partner. It's hard because Leo placements, we can get into situations where we, we date down uh, and people who who are not deserving of our love not just because I'm not talking about status just the way they treat us and just the standards we date down and then we try to fix them up to our level and it just kind of ends up blowing up in our face but uh, yeah Leo Venus Leo energy is gonna love to buy uh, I bought a partner a, a leather jacket once and he was like no 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 I'll, I'll get this another time it's just expensive for me right now and I was like no I want to get this for you because you look good, you feel good. I can tell when you put the jacket on, it like, you feel good. And people are gonna look at you when you wear that and know that you look hot. I was like, this is as much a gift for me as it is for you. I basically was like, this is the equivalent of lingerie. You having a piece that you put on and you feel like a, like a king, that's a gift for me because that is really attractive. And that's just Venus and Leo vibes. They're gonna um, wanna spoil you so that you feel like royalty and can match, can vibe on their level with them. Physical touch would definitely be big for Venus and Leo. Um, I'm thinking scratches on the back and back rubs are gonna be important for them. They might bite a little bit, they might like to bite and scratch. And as far as being lovey, they're gonna be romantic and, and quite sensual and um, touchy and cuddly, it's very animalistic. You know, they wanna bury their face in your neck and chomp you a little bit and give you back rubs and give you foot rubs and run their fingers through your hair and you both run fingers through each other's hair. It's, it's very carnal, it's very much in the body, a sensual experience. Uh, one of my best friends is in a relationship with a Venus and Leo and they, they trade back rubs. She loves it because she's a Taurus, so of course, but he's a Venus and Leo. So rubbing on someone's back, scratching on someone's back, it's very pleasurable. Uh, and, and Venus is where we get a lot of our, our pleasure from, that planet. So. Uh, because Leo, one of the parts they rule is the back. They love having their back scratched and touched. Even when you pass a Venus in Leo, you want to touch their back or touch them in some way when you pass them to let them know, even if you don't say anything, I'm, I'm, you look good, I'm, I'm showing you my affection by touching you when I pass you in the kitchen or something, you know? So yes, they're showy, uh, they're cuddlers, they're quite sensitive. Their egos can be quite sensitive when it comes to love, so that's why betrayal is just so huge because it's like not only have you broken my trust but you've made a fool out of me when really when someone cheats on you it has nothing to do with you but it feels like you've made a fool out of me you made me look stupid my pride is hurt my ego is hurt it's huge but yeah as much as they're willing to give adoration to everyone in such a generous 
uh, loud and proud way, they need it back. Don't be mistaken, a Venus in Virgo might be a little different. They might, they definitely have issues asking for what they need and then, you know, they might run on a little less. Venus and Leo, they need some gasoline. They need some gas to run. So definitely mind your manners, say thank you always, do things for them back. Notice what they do for you and try to, you know, if, they're, if they get you dinner all the time, then try to surprise them with a meal or get them a piece of clothing or a fragrance or jewelry. Um, definitely you want to be putting gas in that car you know they, they they can't run on empty they need to feel like there's some reciprocation only because they they run on applause leo energy loves applause it's not about like i'm doing this with expectations in return not at all um, because they might spend a ton of money on you knowing that maybe you don't have the resources to spend that much on them and that's okay um, because they're giving out of love and not expecting something in return but they do whether they want to admit it or not, they cannot run on empty, they cannot run on low. They need to know that you appreciate what they do and that will keep them running, that will keep them motivated and it will keep their generosity coming. Um, it doesn't have to be big again because they're gonna be the ultimate gift givers and the ultimate kind of putting on a show, the grand gesture type. Definitely at least be polite, show your appreciation because it really matters to them. They need that applause. Uh, going along with generosity and with their money, because Venus can be how we deal with our money and how we spend on nice things. Venus and Leo is quite spendy. No matter uh, what their financial situation is, it can actually be kind of hard for them to budget or cut back, especially when it comes to uh, taking out the people they love, friends, family. They Generosity is just part of their identity. So maybe they budget personally, you know, they cut back a little on what they only spend on themselves. But when it comes to love and things like that, they're quite spendy. But most, I would say most people, they don't cut back on themselves either. They, they appreciate themselves and their type of love starts with self-love. The way that they get to give so much is because they fuel themselves with that self-love. Um, a healthy Venus and Leo, healthy Leo energy. So yeah, they uh, definitely Leo is one of the signs, top signs that spends a lot on themselves, on others. Uh, they run up a check. They like to be seen. Um, so Venus and Leo people may be into, or Leo energy, uh, exhibitionism sort of. So, and that might go into more into Mars signs because I do know Venus and Leos who are like vanilla, but they might enjoy being watched, being admired. Uh, the world is a stage kind of thing and I want to parade my partner around on the stage. They love getting dressed up and going out. Oh my gosh, dressing to the nines, put you know, putting on their clothes and their makeup and their perfume and uh, huh. And really like making a spectacle of a night out, no matter what it is, even if there's no occasion, there's always an occasion. They love getting dressed up. It's a big um, kind of like romance turn on thing for them to, to be out and about with their partner and have others look at them, admire them, wonder who they are, to be taking good care of themselves, to groom themselves. All of that is sort of a sexy kind of process for them and a very romantic process. Even a Venus and Leo, might really enjoy picking out clothes for their partner um, or having maybe having their partner pick out their clothes. They're gonna ask for their partner's opinion a lot. Like, do you think, especially hair, do you think I look good with his hair? What should I do with my hair? Do you think I smell good? Do you like my outfit? Did you notice? If you don't give them the applause that they need, uh, healthy Leo will probably prompt. They'll be like, you know what? I need some uh, words of affirmation. And I'm gonna ask, what do you think of my outfit? Do you like it? You haven't said anything, so I'm just wondering. Like, they need that and it's very, as much as Leo likes to act like I don't care what anybody thinks, it's really important for them that their partner notices their grooming and their sort of, their costuming, you know? The whole spectacle. They need to, they need to appreciate the show and the behind the scenes that it takes to create this Venus and Leo beautiful deity, you know? And they like their partners to be this, the same. They like their partners to be down with uh, going out to eat, dressing up, knowing how to dress themselves, taking good care of themselves. They don't want to be belittled for the fact that they groom, especially if they're a guy. Don't make fun of how long they stay in the bathroom or if they wear jewelry. Like, if you don't like how they take care of themselves, then walk away because they have found the way that they like to feel good. And if you make fun of them for that, it actually really hurts their feelings because it's a huge part of uh, how they feel good enough to share love to others. Again, it's their self-love. They need that. Now I will say about a Venus and Leo, 
immediately with their generosity and the fact that they love to spoil it feels very spoiling don't assume that that means that you are this close yet because leo does kind of keep a wall up they just enjoy spoiling others but they're not you don't have you might think you have them wrapped around your finger but you probably don't and you know the closest is their family and their chosen family which would be their friends um so even if they have a strange relationship with their family they're going to be fiercely loyal to certain members or to their family altogether and to their friends so if you start coming in and trying to you know belittle their family or get in between them and their friends or make mean comments about their family they're not having it they are not having it the spoiling it, goodbye it's it's like you're not that we're not that close but the great thing about venus and leo is that when they are close to you when they have that loyalty to you that's like family because that's how they love like like blood then then you you know you have a deep strong love but don't play around with that early on just because they're spoiling you don't think that you know you've got them under the spell because leo can be leo has a lot of pride and they can be quite guarded with how much of love they give they can be quite showy and then they're saving that deep tender love like seeing them broken seeing them when they're really low confidence seeing them when they don't feel they look very good that they save for later that's very special so until you see that don't think that you've seen all of the venus and leo or that you just you know you got this one in the bag when it comes to other venus signs that leo would look would work well with venus and leo i would say the fire signs those are going to create some chemistry because like i said when there's pushback and uh, a partner refuses to be a doormat that's very attractive. Oh, another thing I'm gonna say, when you know a Venus and Leo really appreciates you, they're gonna be posting you and showing you off. So in today's day and age, showing off doesn't mean just like taking a stroll around the, squ the town square so that everyone can see you. It's also like subtly posting a picture where you might be in it a little bit and seeing how you respond or tagging you in a post or, um, you know, sending pictures of you to their friends things like that they want to show you off and once they feel that there's a green light they're going to be posting a lot of pictures of you um they want to show you off if they're not i don't know it may be that they are not over like it would be very rare that a venus and leo would not be like i want to show you off in every way that i can something happened to you something happened to you i'm in love you ever felt this way So look out for that if you wonder if they're into you. Um, they're proud of you. That If they're proud of you, they've got to be proud of you to, to take it any further. So uh, yeah, I would say fire signs. Venus signs go really well with Leo. Uh, Sagittarius, for sure, but Sag can be a little bit like, oh, I don't know about commitment and things like that. And Leo's like, I need your full commitment. But um, fire sign energy will be really, really fun. Um, and then what else? I, I think Leo and Gemini as signs always are just explosively sparkly and wonderful. So I think, uh, especially because Gemini is so wordy and they, they give compliments and they're great communicators, a Leo is going to feel a little more at ease with a Venus and Gemini because the communication is going to be there. The Leo doesn't have to guess. Do they still like me? They're going to get the words of affirmation that they need and... It, as long as the Gemini is down with cuddling and, and touching and, and doing that, um, it's going to be good. So I would say Venus and Gemini, Venus and Leo is a great combo. And maybe Venus and Libra, Venus and Leo. It depends on how that Venus and Leo is being expressed. Because they're both kind of pretty, pretty, pretty Venus signs. They're into their grooming. But Venus and Libra can be really, really flirty. So it depends on depends on the, the dynamic that they've got going on. And then Leo and Aquarius are opposite signs, so they they tend to get along. I'm a Leo and I have never really been uh, attracted to an Aquarius in that way. We do make pretty, pretty good friends, but so it all depends on the rest of your chart and things like that. That's about Venus and Leo. That's about 
Leo energy love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, I am releasing these Venus sign videos on Friday. They will be there, so you don't need to, you don't need to push, because your girl has anxiety, okay? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in my next one. Mwah! Bye, guys.